So, over the weekend, WWE made the special announcement about WrestleMania and where it will be emanating this year and for the next few years. Now, this year, it basically reported and announced that WrestleMania will be emanating from Raymond James Stadium on both April 10th, which is a Saturday, and April 11th, which is a Sunday, thus making it, once again, a two-night event. Now, why they are doing this? Um, well, I kind of have my reason, or kind of have my opinions, I should say, on why they're doing it, and I'm sure others would agree with it. But with that said, I'll get into that in a moment. Uh, but I do find it kind of uh, unique that for the first time, I, I would say in ever, as far as I know, that that basically both WrestleMania and the Super Bowl will be emanating from the same venue within the same year and within two months from each other. That's right. You see, the Super Bowl is February 6th and WrestleMania, like I mentioned, is April 10th and 11th. So that's basically two months apart. And that's going to basically indicate that Tampa Bay or the Tampa Bay area, they're going to be quite busy from a revenue standpoint and from a, a, a tourist attraction standpoint, if not if not on a limited safety uh, basis, due to the fact that you got two mega events, you know, coming to your town within the span of less than sixty days. So that's, uh, oh, not less than sixty days, but within the span of over sixty days. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool and uh, unique for Tampa to you know, get into that kind of a situation um, as we speak. Now, the reason, of course, uh, WWE is doing the two-night event, I, like I said, I will talk about that in a minute, uh, in a little bit. Now, also, they made the announcement that next year's WrestleMania on April 3rd, 2022, will emanate from AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas, or in Arlington, Texas, which is home of the Cowboys. And then they announced that on April 2nd, 2023, that it, WrestleMania 39 will be emanating from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, outside of Hollywood. Now, why are they doing all this uh, in this manner? Why are they, you know, moving the California WrestleMania, you know, basically two years further away from its original scheduled uh, date, which would have been this year? Well, it's real simple, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Now, first of all, talking about let's talk about this year's WrestleMania and why, once again, it's a two-night event, but in this case, it's also emanating from Raymond James Stadium. Well, it's real simple. You see, WWE made the announcement that they will uh, be adhering to safety protocols uh, when it comes to this event because they do intend to have fans on both nights. Now, basically, right now, the report is they plan to go to about 10 to possibly 20% capacity of fans, which would, if you round it out, emanate or calculate up to about 10,000 uh, a night. You know, it's 10,000 fans a night. Now, if you take a look at the floor seating, which would be on the field, um, if they do that, you're looking at around... Well, rounding it out, you'd be looking at around uh, basically 4,000 seats. So, on average, you'd be looking at almost 28,000 for both nights from a 65,000 uh, plus, 65, plus stadium in which Raymond James is. So, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be a pretty unique site. Now, I'm not saying WWE won't be able to work around that. They're probably going to take notes on what the WWE, uh, well, not WWE, but what the NFL and other sporting leagues are doing right now by basically, you know, covering up areas which would originally be uh, filled with fans or occupied by fans. They're probably going to put like banners and stuff around there or maybe some shields. Who knows what they're going to do. Uh, when it comes to this year's WrestleMania and its two-night event, but basically from a 10% to about 20% capacity standpoint, both in the stands and on the field for both nights, you're looking at a combined nearly uh, combined nearly 28,000 uh, seat uh, 28,000 uh, seat event. You know when you combine both nights. Um, 
Now, as far as next year's WrestleMania goes, WrestleMania 38 uh, from Dallas, the reason they're doing that is just like with Florida, Texas has less restrictions, and both Texas and Florida, along with a few other states, but mostly Texas and Florida, would seem to be the leading candidates and being the first of a, first of probably many states to basically be uh, fully out of the whole pandemic deal. In other words, they'll be, you know, 100% fully out of it and basically back to normal by by next year, which is why I think WWE wants to go to AT&T Stadium to try to sell that out again and break the previous record or tie it at least. But also at the same time, from a visual standpoint, they, I would guess, want to make that year's WrestleMania a celebration, like a celebration of we're back to normal, we're back to the way we should be, and here's the proof of it for the whole world to see. So that's why I'm thinking they're doing that um, as well. Now, as far as WrestleMania 39, you know, coming to California, coming to Hollywood, Inglewood, and SoFi Stadium uh, in two years instead of this year, well, of course, it has to do with the whole situation as far as the pandemic goes and the restrictions that are laid down here in California uh, to the point that this year's WrestleMania, even if we were slowly getting out of it, even with the vaccines and everything, would be a no-go. There would be no way our governor right now, who's on the verge of probably being recalled very soon, would allow it to happen. I mean, if he's willing to shut down one of the most popular theme parks in the country, Disneyland, for as long as he did, you know, depriving people of a chance to get out and, you know, be entertained, then what do you think he'll, what do you think his reaction would be to WrestleMania or to WWE trying to bring WrestleMania to California? You know, I'm just saying. But yeah, basically, WWE has scheduled it to be, um, at SoFi in 2023 instead, thus giving enough time for this state, you know, to get into the clear, which it should be in the clear by the end of the year, if not by the summer, I'm hoping, but get into the clear, uh, you know, so that basically there won't be no hiccups, no headaches or anything when it comes to having WrestleMania at SoFi Stadium, like it was originally meant to be this year, but now has to be held off until 2023. But yeah, basically that's what WWE made. That's what WWE announced over the weekend, as far as WrestleMania is concerned. Like I said, the reason this year's is a two-night event again, just like last year's, is because when they adhered to the ten to twenty percent capacity ratio for what you know, you know, for what's going on right now to keep people safe, the safety protocols. I think basically they're doing that because they know that at that capacity combining both nights they can at least get nearly 30,000 people in attendance not in one night but for both nights and for the event as a whole which is almost half or nearly half of the irregular attendance and capacity that stadium Raymond James Stadium can hold and again like I said as far as Dallas goes and them getting it next year I think they're doing that as a way to you know, give it, you know, to basically use WrestleMania as a forefront of a celebration of, hey, we're back on our feet, we're back to normal. Here's the visual proof of over 100,000 fans in attendance, shoulder to shoulder, you know. So that's a, that's why I think, that's why I think they're going to want to want to have, that's why they're scheduling or booking WrestleMania, I should say, to be at AT&T next year. And don't be surprised if they use the red, white, and blue ropes, you know, for that event as a celebration. Um, and then, of course, the one in California being moved from this year to 2023. Again, I think it's to basically give enough time in their minds to allow California and states like them or in the surrounding area to get back on the feet, basically have enough time to fully establish normalcy again, you know, so there won't be any hiccups or hindrance, you know, when they attempt to have WrestleMania at SoFi in 2023. And hopefully by then, if not before this year's out, we'll have a new governor that won't be so, um, what's the old saying goes, so incompetent in the eyes of many people of not knowing how to deal with things the proper way, you know. 
Like I said, um, basically the fact that um, you know, you know, WWE is deciding, you know, to kind of give the state time to heal up and you know just get back to an appropriate normalcy because, like I said before, I had to pause there. Um, um, basically, our governor, we potentially by then, if not before this year is out, we'll have a new governor because our governor, like I said, in the eyes of a lot of people, is an incompetent. He's an imbecile because he basically doesn't know how to, um, he doesn't know how to, you know, handle what's going on appropriately. It's not like, it's basically like to them, he's not taking a, uh, he's not taking notes or noticing how, you know, other states are handling it in a way to where people still can do what they want, do what what they want to do kind of have some freedoms but you know through the safety protocols and everything so so yeah you know wwe basically saying hey we don't want to chance any hiccups or any headaches or anything like that so let's just you know hold off until you know two years from now and from the original release to um you know bring it to original uh, uh date of its uh debut or arrival or you know so, um, was, event and basically just push it back to you know, two years and give it plenty of time to you know give the state plenty of time to really you know get back on normal but again I honestly I have to give WWE credit they they did I think this is a good move on their part that they at least are getting ahead they're jumping ahead of you know of what you know getting a head start I should say and get you know giving people a heads up of, hey, this is where we're intending to go, and by by the time we get to many of these areas, things should be okay. We should, you know, be able to, um, you know, get you know have regular events on a normal basis and all that. So, anyway, though, guys, just thought I'd give you my thoughts on the announcement WWE made about you know WrestleMania for this year and how they, how in my opinion, how I think they're going to be doing it. You know, getting you know the attendance, the a semi decent attendance out of it, as well as to why they're doing AT and T next year in Dallas and why they're holding off until 2023 for SoFi in Inglewood, California. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. I'd like to hear from each and every one of you. Sorry for the interruptions. I'm trying to do this best I can with my mom home right now. You know, she's off tomorrow, today, whatever. But I just thought that you guys know my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll talk to y'all later.